Dawn dishwashing soap has long been known for its use on more than just dishes. Surprisingly, it can even be used to get rid of pests. However, there are some things you should know before you use it on the dreaded pests. It needs to be applied in a specific way, and some versions of Dawn are more effective than others. So here are the best ways to use Dawn dish soap to get rid of certain pests. 1. Gnats Whether they're a result of moist houseplant soil or rotting food in your garbage can, gnats can be a nuisance. But just because gnats are around, it doesn't mean they need to be tolerated forever. Fill a glass or bowl with one tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, a half cup of warm water, and about five drops of liquid dish soap and stir well. Gnats will be attracted to the sweet sugar and pungent vinegar, but the sticky dish soap will disable them from escaping. This trick also works with wine. If you have an unfinished bottle of red wine that's oxidized and turned sour, use the wine to replace the water, sugar, and vinegar. Just add the liquid Dawn dish soap, set it out in the open, and wait for the gnats to dive in. 2. Ants Ants in the house are a big nuisance. They enter your home when they smell or sense food. Some ants may nest inside rotting floorboards or window frames of a house. To get rid of ants, make a mixture of dish soap or dishwashing liquid and put it in a spray bottle and shake it well. Then you can spray it on the ants. The solution will stick to the ants and the dish soap suffocates the ants to death. This spray can also be used to kill ants that are thriving on your plants. The solution will kill the ants without harming your plants. 3. Fleas Fleas are pests that can multiply quickly if they're not treated properly. However, since the price tag for store-bought flea treatments can be high, you can use Dawn dish soap to get rid of them. The best way to do this is to give your pet a bath with the dish soap. Alternatively, you can have a pet who hates baths. You can use a spray bottle with water and dish soap to kill fleas cheaply and easily. 4. Bugs on Plants Soapy water is not a universal insecticide, which is good. It allows us to preserve beneficial insects in the garden. It also means that not every insect will be bothered by soap. Small, soft-bodied insects are the best candidates for management with soapy water. Aphids, whiteflies, thrips, and mites are all good candidates for soapy water sprays. Sturdy, large-bodied insects like caterpillars and beetles are unlikely to be affected. To use soapy water, it needs to not just touch the insect, but also coat the insect's body in order to be effective. This likely means turning over leaves to reach insects on the underside of leaves. A bonus effect is that many of these small-bodied insects will be knocked off the plant if the spray is high pressure, so you get physical and chemical control in one spray. Because soapy water works by touching the insects, sprays need to be made whenever new insect populations appear and start to grow. Spraying soap directly on the leaves when no insects are present does nothing, as soap doesn't bother insects if they eat it. It only works if it contacts the full body. Some gardeners purchase ready-to-use insecticidal soaps, while others will make their own solutions using dish soap and water. If you're in the latter group, aim for a 2% soap solution. Add just 2 teaspoons of dish soap to 1 pint of water. Just remember, high concentrations of soap can burn plant foliage, especially when plants are stressed, temperatures are over 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and humidity is high. 5. Wasps if you're already dealing with a wasp infestation around your home and garden, an easy home remedy for wasps is soapy water. Soapy water can be an effective home remedy for getting rid of wasps and is also an environmentally friendly option for wasp management. You can remove small hanging nests with soap and water spray as this method gets rid of the wasp infestation by suffocating them. The soap will clog their spiracles, the pores that they breathe through, and will kill them almost immediately. To kill wasps with soapy water, mix two tablespoons of dish soap in a spray bottle or hose end sprayer and fill it with water. You'll want to spray the wasp net in the morning or evening when wasp activity is lowest, otherwise you could risk agitating the hive. Approach the wasp hive with caution and do your best to avoid provoking them. A spray bottle will work, however we recommend using a hose end sprayer that will allow you to spray the nest from a safe distance as wasps are likely to begin to react to the soapy water solution as you begin to spray the nest. We also recommend wearing protective clothing, or at the very least, covering your skin in order to minimize the risk of getting stung. 6. Mosquito Larva 
Mosquitoes can be a real pain with their buzzing and itchy bites. Even worse, mosquitoes only bite when they're ready to lay eggs, which means that every time you do get bit, there's a whole new mosquito generation on the way. That's why the best way to eliminate mosquitoes is to get them before they're fully developed. Soap is highly toxic to many animals, including mosquitoes. A small amount of dish soap, about a millimeter per gallon, in standing water will kill any larva within a day. For extreme mosquito issues, hardware stores also sell special soaps that contain insecticides. No matter which soap you use, never use soap in a pond or other living environment. 7. Moles If you've been working hard on your lawn and garden, one of the most frustrating things you can find on your grass are molehills. Those large lumps of brown dirt can totally ruin the look of your luscious lawn, and burrowing rodents can cause damage to the grass roots underneath. You can get live traps and relocate the moles, but Dawn dish soap combined with castor oil makes a great natural mole repellent for your lawn. Where you want to start is by mixing about 4 ounces of castor oil with a teaspoon of the dishwashing liquid. Put this into a common garden spray bottle and add water until you've completely filled the bottle. It should be warm or hot water to make sure that the mixture mixes well, and you should shake vigorously after you've combined the blend. Now all you need to do is go around your yard spraying it with the mixture of the oil and dish soap. You don't need to be excessive about it, but you should make sure that you have liberally used it across the yard. This will help to make sure that it stays on your grass or other plants for quite some time. Your next step is to go and fill all the visible holes that you've seen where the moles could be gaining access and pat down securely. Repeat this process every week and continue to fill any new holes that you may notice. Eventually, you're going to see complete success. The best part about this particular method is that it does not endanger your vegetation at all. Neither the castor oil or the dish soap pose any danger to your lawn, trees, or other plants on your land. They simply dissolve into the soil, which becomes an irritant to the mole, who will eventually dig his way off your property to get away from it. This is a great solution for any person facing an issue with a mole that will also keep your pets and your family safe from chemicals. 8. Bed bugs. When applied directly on bed bugs, dish soap causes them to dehydrate and die. It breaks down the outer layer of a bed bug shell known as the exocuticle, yet, this method will only work with direct contact with each bed bug. Another option is to add dish soap and water to a spray bottle to make a soapy and thick spray. It'll also keep bed bugs from running away. When you see a group of bed bugs, simply spray them with this soapy mix to reduce their speed and agility. Then you can pick them up and drop them into a container filled with soapy water. Bed bugs can't swim and will drown. While they won't sink right away in the water and can float, the weight and stickiness of the soap will draw them deeper into the water where they'll drown. If you can submerge them in hot water, that's even better. However, this technique only works with bed bugs that you can see. These insects are skilled at hiding and tend to hide in unexpected places. For every bed bug you kill, there are likely many more securely hiding away in other parts of your home. You must not only kill the bed bugs present, but you also must kill off the eggs. Regular Dawn dish soap is the least effective option as it's not highly concentrated. Dawn Platinum is slightly more effective while Dawn Ultra works best since it's more sudsy, stickier, and concentrated. Bed bugs hatch every 10 days, so if you choose this method, you'll need to repeat it consistently. That's the best way to get to all the areas where the bed bugs and their eggs are hiding. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to Natural Health Remedies. And don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on how to get rid of pests using onions. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.